Welcome back. We're doing an info on the bronze statue. Level 2 in our story from Chapter 2. Double twos. So, if you... S so, this level's setting is not a mansion. It's a space mansion, basically. A riggedy down old mansion from Earth. Maybe the Gold Watchers. I th I'll make it the Gold Watchers mansion. But a space mansion that's been broken down. And phase one is going to be the hardest out of the two. As you climb through the most elaborate puzzle map. It's basically this in a nutshell. There are f of couple platforms and buttons on each. There will be m this or more m buttons. Each one connects in an order to make a shape. The shape will be used later in a special key code to get out of the second uh, into back into the area and a special keypad you have to draw the shape and if you draw it wrong you die You will need to be, you will either need to use the new power-up you get in this level, you will need to use one of the two power-ups you can get in this level. Trap, untrappable. Or telepathy. Telepathy will give you immunity for this, the puzzle. But, telepathy comes later into the game. You get non-trap afterward in the level. Oh yeah, and I forgot to talk about the power you get in level 1. The fireball attack from the fan made by Devin the Adventurer. Fireball power. I'm trying my best to recreate it. And that's my best to recreate it. But there is still more to see in, throughout the level. Phase 1 will be in the elaborate space maze this is a whole parody except it's more confusing than what you would usually see this is basically what the layout's going to be platforms everywhere and after you do that a door will open admitting a light after you go into it, you will be able to fight the Bronze Watcher, the Demon Bronze Watchers, an enemy that he never really talked about. I just came up about this because I need a boss for every level, so this one is certainly a mix between Bill, or a mix between Bill. And the weird Toriel thing with the big eyes.
Yeah, you've seen that one before, right? <laughs> but that's not just it. We're just talk we just talked about the boss's design. What about the attacks? The boss will have a similar attack to the final boss from chapter seven. The air blast attack. You're gonna need to jump high. He in order to do that with us, or jump at all, or be able to run fast enough to jump on the platforms without the speed boost power up on your first. This boss is truly a hellish nightmare. The more you fight it, the more long its horns will become. And the more rigged his smile's gonna be. Throughout the whole area, it will launch a giant shockwave that will move high. And the hardest part about this boss is the second phase of it. It will act similar to the Pumpkin Leviathan. The reason why I'm not saying Goliath Clowns is because it's more like the 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 Pumpkin Leviathan because it launches straight metal golden chains from it to wrap you and stab you in your body parts. And nothing can avoid these attacks. The chain will follow you around and go in complete loops and stay in their spots. Until you are dead. You have to use the special chain mount, the blowtorch. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm adding a blowtorch into this game. And if you're OP enough to hack, Oh, you are gonna have a fun time playing these next bo the next bosses until you reach this third. Until you reach, you will have a fun time beating every other boss besides the noose boss and the nurse boss. They both take advan the nurses take advantage of the blowtorch, so they make a fire. But the noose is the noose characters get more powerful. So now let's talk about the actual enemies. The bronze watchers. I talked about the withered bronze watchers. Now I'm talking about the the bronze watchers. A demented statue that is half dead alive. Who will chase you down and kill you. Their special attack is actually one you might have not expected from a level like this. And you might have expected it from a level that I'm naming the Demented Dread Ducky level so far. Dement the Demented Dread Ducky level... <laughs> has s s s the dread duckies except more demented um, like mm, this is your mm, 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 mm. and and the bot and I'm not talking about the 
and so help me God. If someone actually beats this level on the first try ever, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to make, I'm going to add a special level in the, in chapter four. <laughs> you want to want to see it. If it happens, I make, I decided instead of making it me releasing all chapters separately. I'm gonna conglomerate them into one game. So help me. There is a special demented side. When you are escaping the realm, they grow aggravated. And they send out a much harder force. Even harder than the demon. Yeah, remember that one? Old news in this one. They send out the super demon, the stranger one, and that's just not re and I'm not referencing stranger things. Two even uneven horns. The demon strikes you down. The demon looks similar to the demon, but with a scythe for a hand. A scythe. Well, two. Making is similar to a grasshopper. Yeah, similar to a grasshopper who will stab your throat. So that's it for our third info video. I'll be making number four soon.